Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. President Mamadou Buhari has deployed 6,000 troops to Zamfara State to complement the efforts of the current security forces in the state. Now, this was disclosed by the governor of the state, Belu Matawale, who also revealed that the movement of motorcycles in large numbers has also been banned in the state. Matawale also warned that any politician that incites violence and endangers the security of the state will be apprehended and dealt with. In a related development, the Zamfara state government has issued a two-month ultimatum to bandit terrorizing communities to surrender their arms or face the full wrath of the law. Addressing a press conference in Gusau, Governor Bello Matawale says the move is to address the lingering security challenges in the state. Matawale has also ordered all traditional rulers and local government sole administrators to remain in their areas and monitor security activities in their domain. And troops of Sector 1 Operation Lafayette Dole and 402 Special Forces Brigade have killed several members of Boko Haram and Iswab terrorists and also cleared all villages and enclaves inhabited by the insurgents. Director, Army, Director of the Army Public Relations, Mohamed Yerima, in a statement on Tuesday, revealed the operation was part of the ongoing Phase 2 of Operation Tura to Kaimbango. Yerima further revealed 25 members of a terrorist group were neutralized while arms and ammunitions amounting to about 31 were recovered. Ankara State has taken delivery of doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine from the federal government. Executive Secretary of the Ankara State Primary Healthcare Services, Nusirat Elelu, received the consignment on Tuesday evening on behalf of the state government at the Loring International Airport, Loring. She also disclosed that Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak is expected to flag up the vaccination while frontline healthcare workers will be given priority during the vaccination. And in business, Nigeria's Minister of Interior, Raoul Farek Bessela, has, on behalf of the federal government, launched the electronic temporary passport to cater for Nigerians desirous of returning home but whose national passport is not available. Now, this was disclosed in a statement signed by the Public Relations Officer of the Nigerian Immigration Service, Sunday James, on Tuesday. James revealed the e-temporary passport is for the one-way return journey to Nigeria on emergencies and replaces the paper type emergency travel certificate issued to Nigerians in diaspora who do not have a regular standard passport. And 16 people, including a doctor, have been sentenced to death in absentia for the murder of Richard Valerie Kibong, a Cameroonian Ebola expert. Kibong, an epidemiologist employed by the UN's World Health Organization, was shot dead in April 2019 at a work meeting at a hospital in Butembo in North Kivu province. He was one of many foreign medical workers who had been brought in to help fight the Ebola epidemic in eastern DR Congo that claimed more than 2,000 200 lives. And now in sports, Erling Haaland has reached new heights on Tuesday after the Borussia Dortmund star set three new UEFA Champions League records. Haaland scored twice in Dortmund's victory over La Liga side Sevilla, taking his tally to a tournament high 10 goals this season. He has become the youngest ever player to score, eight, to score in six consecutive matches in the competition at the age of 20 and the fastest player to reach 20 goals in 14 appearances in the competition. Well, that's all in the newsroom at this time. We'll be back at the top of the hour with more updates. I'm Mary Kanu. Bye for now.